Hey guys, Nick here. So I'm really excited to do this review today. A few weeks ago, I contacted a company called Guardian Angel Devices and I asked them if they could send me some of their units for testing. What they provide is a wearable safety light and it's not just a regular flashlight or, or uh, a beacon of sorts. This is a super tough, strobing, multifunction safety light. It has so many features that are applicable to first responders, law enforcement, and civilian use all across the board. They have several different models um, that provide slightly different features, but they all kind of serve the same purpose. What they sent me was two of their elite devices and one of their micro devices and also a, a wide range of uh, mounting options such as a bicycle mount, an alligator clip mount, um, a strap or belt clip mount, an epaulet mount, which is what I use daily in my duty carry on my outer carrier. And they also come in the box with a magnet mount. The magnets that come with these things, guys, are incredibly strong. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous how strong these magnets are. So you'll know right away if the magnet catches on to something. But let me talk more about these devices. Um, some of you may have seen some of the teaser videos that I've posted on our social media accounts and shown how these things work. Um, I, they're incredible. I, I, at first, I, I have to be fully honest about this and have full transparency that when I first saw this, I thought it was a gimmick. And in some of my posts, some of the comments said, hey, I thought this was a gimmick. But this is a legit device that is going to save lives of, of cops and firefighters and other first responders who work in high-risk environments where they need to be identified in low light or dark conditions. Um, I've tested this at range and it's, it's completely visible, you know, 50, 100 yards in the fog. And um, you're gonna see that, that I'm gonna show that in some of these testings that it's, it's, it's a legit feature. So let me get right down into some of the features. So what I'm going to use today is the one that I actually use daily, and this is a blue on blue strobe and also has white light features and a red low light feature. The low light feature, if you're not aware of it, which in first responders and in law enforcement, I'm sure that you'll completely understand that there's occasions that we're working in darkness or low light and we don't need to, to burn our night vision. So use of a red light is what helps us uh, be able to see and illuminate things and, um, and not burn our red vision or our, our night vision up. So what I'm gonna do first is to turn this on, you press and hold the rear and front buttons and you're gonna get an indicator in a few seconds that this thing is active and on. This is the red light feature. So when this is mounted on your shoulder, it allows you to see in darkness, like if I'm working in my patrol car and I need to do some paperwork or I need to fidget with something in my car, I can turn this on without uh, turning on my dome light and burning my night vision up or something ridiculous like that. So that's the red light feature. To activate the red light feature, there's a button on the front, you just tap it, boom, or press and hold it for a couple of seconds, or one second, and there it goes, the red light feature. The next tab turns on your spotlight. This is perfect for using applications where you need both hands, such as searching a car, or if you're a, a medic or a firefighter, and you're needing to tend to somebody medically, you can use both hands in the dark and have an illuminated surface with a super bright LED, okay? Now, let's say you're working traffic. The feature right here, the, the giant activation button is gonna turn this thing on full strobe. So you turn this on and you are flashing full on with super bright uh, white and blue lights on this, this model, the Elite, and it is very visible from a very far distance away. Uh, another really cool feature about the Elites and, um, well, the Micro as well, they have a an SOS feature. So we can all understand, hey, look, I'm, I'm lost somewhere. This is so this is completely applicable to hikers, people who are walking, somebody who's lost, somebody who needs to be found. Turn on the SOS feature, press and hold the SOS feature, and it blinks in the Morse code SOS. So they covered a lot of bases with these. A lot of the other Elite models, they have an option for IR or infrared to, to be a beacon at the top instead of the flashing white light. So if you work for an agency or an area that offers uh, IR, that uh, they can scan for IR, that can be a beacon of light for them to locate and find in darkness. Having red light capabilities is very important for law enforcement officers and other first responders who work night shift. 
being able to illuminate surfaces you're working with or being able to see documents or items in front of you without burning your night vision is very important for night operations or low light conditions where your night vision is very important to keep. Here's a demonstration of how well the spotlight feature of the Guardian Angel devices works. What I'm doing is simulating a vehicle search in the passenger seat compartment of my patrol vehicle. As you can see, all surfaces are well lit and perfectly illuminated, giving me optimal visual contact with all of the areas that I'm going to look at. When activated, the strobing features are incredibly bright, especially in full darkness. In this demonstration, I'm about 100 yards away from my camera. As you can see, the strobing feature perfectly shows a well-lit beacon where I'm located at. Here I am also walking across the street to give you a perspective of where the light actually is. Okay, so that was the blue light, the blue on blue light that I'm wearing because my agency and where I'm at in Arkansas, law enforcement is identified by blue and white light. Um, there are some other agencies such as our neighboring state, Oklahoma, where law enforcement and other um, roadside um, operators that are going to need to be uh, identified by their markers they operate on a red and blue light. So we're gonna show with a red and blue Elite Series Guardian Angel device. Again, press and hold the side buttons. You're gonna get your red light as an indicator is on. And this is the red and blue. So you have the red and the blue strobes. And that's really the only other difference other than the blue blue is that it has the red. Otherwise, the functions are exactly the same. <clears throat> All right, let's talk about their micro series. So their micro series is, a, is about half the size, as you can see here, of the Elite. And the mounting options are the same. It has the, uh, it's about a quarter size, like a United States quarter currency size magnet on the bottom. And that magnet corresponds with any of the other mounting options that, uh, that are offered by Guardian Angel. Um, one thing that is different that the, the larger Elite series, they do have screw holes at the bottom that allow you to permanently affix your um, Guardian Angel device to your various mounting options with, uh, with the screws that do come with the, the Guardian Angel light uh, mounting um, devices. So let's dive into this micro a little bit. All right, the micro, again, the functionalities of these things are same across the board. It has a rear and front button. You press and hold. It's gonna give you the indicator that it is on and that is your it is like a low light white light. This one doesn't have the front red light. This has a low light white light, but you can also turn on your front high beam or brighter LED, which light activates all of the lights up front. Um, this one has a slightly different flashing pattern on some occasions, but if you press and hold the flash activator button, you get red and white lights flashing and strobing. Let's say you like to go on night runs, night walks, night hikes or a situation where you might be walking into the night and you need identifiers. The micro is perfect. It fits on a backpack, it fits on a shoulder. The magnet can go up under your shirt. Sometimes when I go out walking at night, I will, uh, I'll attach the, uh, the alligator clip to it and I can just clip it to the inside of my shirt and I can wear it simple like that. I can see um, they offer a, uh, a lanyard. Every one of these uh, devices comes with a lanyard hole and you can attach a lanyard with a carabiner if you need to so you can if it gets knocked off you don't lose it so it's another good safety feature so you don't lose your device the micro is equally as bright and effective as its big brother the elite as you can see here the spotlight provides illumination in front of me while i'm walking down my neighborhood street where i can see the road in front of me and any obstacles that i might come across when activated the strobing feature also provides an ample beacon of notification where you're at. Here I am about 50 yards away from my camera, and again, you can see the red and white strobing of the micro. So let's talk about some of the flash modes that these things offer. The operation, again, is, is pretty similar across the board on all of these, but I'm gonna use the red and blue as an example. Uh, again, press of the Guardian Angel button is full-on activation, full strobe, all around, just like so. So it's fully flashing, front and rear, full visibility. Single press off, turns full flash off. To activate the rear, there's uh, some uh, modes that it goes into. There's three separate modes. So when you press and hold the rear button for a second, the rear current comes on and full flash in the rear. If you press it again, 
you have a directional. And if you press it again, you have a full-on uh, rear light. No flash, no strobe, just a light. So I guess maybe if you uh, don't want that strobing effect, but you have maybe people following you, they can follow along and they can see that you have a light on. Almost like turning on your, your headlights and your taillights come on while you're driving. So that's that one. If you press the front button, you get the same effect. Front strobe, directional, and full on. Now those functions are same on all of the elites. It turns on all the same way. Everything's the same across the board. Uh, the micro, really similar. Some small uh, differences, but nothing, nothing major. Again, the, the low light button is just a simple LED, a simple white LED that's not super bright. They can illuminate things in front of you. And if you needed to do uh, a stronger light, say you're walking and you need a floodlight, you can press and hold the front button and it turns on full on front light. Now again, press and hold the front button again and you have like a directional feature. It's a, like a side directional feature, like almost like go around me. And then if you press and hold it again, you have a single directional. And the third press turns it off. Rear, very similar. Press and hold, you have a solid red light. So if you needed a red light and not burn your vision, you could turn it around. Uh, this one doesn't have the screw holes. You could turn it around and have your red vision, a red light, so you don't burn your night vision. Press and hold again, and you have a red directional and you press and hold again, and you have another red directional. Again, this one has an SOS feature again. Press and hold the SOS button, and you have an SOS feature on your micro. Okay, so Guardian Angel Devices does come with a variety of mounting options. Uh, the one that comes factory in the box is just a simple magnet that is, looks like it's designed to go maybe up under a shirt. It has some padding for your shoulder, but it's gonna grab onto any shirt or jacket material and Try not to snap this too hard. Uh, it's gonna hold in place and it's gonna give you kind of a full rotation feature if you need to turn front or back. And it's very secure. Again, all of these do come with a lanyard hole that you can attach, a lanyard of sorts, uh, of any kind really, to um, keep it from, if it gets knocked off, falling off and you're not losing your device. To choose from some of the other mounting options, you have an option for a simple alligator clip that will clip onto any strap or the inside of a shirt collar or a jacket collar or perhaps a, a side of a hat. And again, the Elite Series come with screw mounts that permanently, amount, that permanently mount it, and they correspond with holes in the mounting devices. But again, it simply mounts one direction. This does not allow for the turning because there are notches that correspond on the devices to the mounts that prevent turning and slippage. However, you can take it off and turn it if you need to. On some scenarios that you might need a more solid but semi-permanent fix, the, uh, the belt clip or strap clip, again, it works the same way. Mounts on, it has a rubber fit to add for some uh, tactile and some maybe some stickiness on a, on a belt or a strap, maybe a backpack strap that you're wearing it on. But again, your devices fit on it similarly. If you're a mountain biker or perhaps maybe a bike patrol cop, this works for your bike handlebar and it is, a, it is designed to go around a tubular uh, style um, arrangement, but it, it's a Velcro strap that mounts onto uh, to like a bike handlebar and keeps it down snug and solid. The inside of it is uh, kind of a sticky rubber on both sides to prevent uh, turnage and slippage. In scenarios where you need to use a high visibility traffic cone, let's say you are directing traffic around a car crash or a construction zone or some, some sort like that, uh, their cone mount, obviously you can see how this fits on, that's how your device fits on, and this actually is designed to go down inside the top hole of a traffic cone, and it's gonna stay mounted and modular. If uh, you need to relocate the traffic cone, you can, and then when you're done, you can pop it right out, and it comes right out of the cone, and you can take your device off and mount it as necessary. Again, the micro is applicable across all of these existing mounts, uh, the Micro does come with a uh, half dollar shaped magnet that you can slide up under a shirt and it sticks securely uh, for temporary wear. And again, it does correspond with all of the magnets um, in the other mounting options that Guardian Angel Devices offers. The epaulette mount is my dedicated mounting option that I wear on patrol every night shift. 
Uh, this is what I'm using, so I've permanently mounted it with the mounting screws to the mount and to my uh, Blue on Blue Guardian Angel Elite device. But it's super simple to attach. It goes under the epaulette strap and it clicks in securely and it, it stays very secure. I've actually gotten into my car and I've bumped this thing several times. It doesn't pop off, it doesn't unsnap, and it sits at an angle that is optimal for me to use for visibility. Guys, if you've ever thought that the Guardian Angel device was a gimmick, it's not. It is a legit device that if you're a law enforcement officer or a first responder or if you're a person that works in low light or no light conditions and you need to use both hands and have the surface that you're working with or looking at illuminated, this is a great device as well as the wearable safety light feature of it for full visibility of your own person so that other people can see you, not just you seeing in front of yourself. They're about a hundred bucks and a hundred bucks is pretty close to what you're going to spend on a flashlight. And I've seen tons of cops and other first responders try to find some way to affix a hundred dollar flashlight to their, their body armor or their, their shirts or their uniforms uh, with the clips or zip ties. Why not have a dedicated device that has more than just an illumination function, but a safety function as well. If you're worried about battery life, they're a hundred percent rechargeable. They have a lithium ion battery that is rechargeable by a USB-C cable that comes with the package. I haven't fully tested the battery life of it. However, I've been having this one on my outer carrier for the last two weeks and I haven't charged it once. I don't know exactly how long one battery charge would last on full strobe. I did test that, but I'll be honest with you, I forgot it was on. So when I came back, the battery was dead. However, uh, per the recommendations on the box, from a dead battery to full charge, it's a two hour charging time. If you want to find out more information about Guardian Angel devices, go to gadevice.com. They have all the questions answered that you could possibly have, as well as all the other options for devices that they have. You can also find them on social media, Instagram and Facebook. Hey guys, I hope that you found this video useful. I hope that if you thought that the Guardian Angel device was a gimmick before, that this has changed your mind because as a first responder who's been in law enforcement for 14 years, I can tell you right now, I wish I had this 14 years ago because I would still be using it today. Also find us on Instagram at the Mike Loop on Facebook and Instagram or follow my personal blog at Sergeant underscore Tuttle. That's at SGT underscore T-U-T-T-L-E. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. You guys stay safe.